Hi, uh, what's going on here? Hi, uh, here we are showing uh, our Project Logan Development Board. Um, it's our next generation mobile processor that includes our mobile Kepler GPU. And uh, for the very first time, we are bringing our uh, high-end Kepler GPU architecture to the mobile space. Uh, the Kepler GPU architecture powers supercomputers, desktop gaming systems, workstation systems. And this high-performance, highly power-efficient GPU is now available in a mobile device. And what Kepler brings to mobile is a rich feature set. It supports uh, OpenGL 4.4, uh, DX11, uh, CUDA, OpenCL, Direct Compute, a rich set of compute and graphics features that delivers really great graphics and a modern GP GPU computing environment to a mobile space. And here we are showing our uh, digital IRA demo. If you remember one year ago, we showed this demo on our high-end GeForce Titan uh, GPU. And the exact same demo has now been ported over to Project Logan, because Logan now supports uh, DirectX 11 and OpenGL 4.4. And you can see the skin textures, the advanced lighting effects, the subsurface scattering. All that is bringing a really PC-class graphics experience to a mobile device. PC game developers, console game developers now will be able to easily port over their games to mobile devices. And uh, in terms of performance, you can Kepler and Project Logan delivers around 1.5 times the performance of a PS3. And if you compare it to an existing mobile device like an iPad 4, at the same performance level as the iPad 4, when you dial down the performance of mobile Kepler to iPad 4 levels, Kepler uh, consumes one third the power of an iPad 4 GPU. So that's really exciting. Uh, not only you get great graphics, but you also get great power efficiency.